journalists at large, armed with pens. This is Zah News. Let's get it on. Prosecutors have withdrawn all charges against journalist Mzilika Ziwa Africa, but the ANC Youth League insists that he is a threat to national security. He is a bloody agent, that one. Exactly, team. He is a shady journalist, a very shady journalist. He is like a bloody boar in the Buremach. The Buremach, Mr. Malema? Yes, team. This agent has Buremach tendencies. He wants to overthrow the state by peddling his lies and fiction. And let me remind you about violence, team. If there is going to be any bloody violence in this place, it is we who are calling the shots and firing them too. Come to think of it, General, don't you owe this man an apology? Shoot first, apology later. That's my philosophy. It took 20 police officers to arrest this reporter as if he was a terrorist. He was bloody violent. He was armed with a pen and a notebook. And you know, that is just as dangerous than this big mama here. He is firing the bloody questions and never the blanks. The Democratic Alliance leader Helen Zille has announced a bold new plan to alleviate poverty. Yes, Tim. We in the DA believe in doing things so much better than the ANC. For instance, the ANC's plan to alleviate poverty had only the one point, whereas our plan has eight points. I see. Eight times as many points, Tim. Therefore, eight times better. You have just made uh, Patricia DeLille an MEC in your government, not so? Yes, yes. We've liberated her from the grinding poverty of political inconsequence. That should please some of your uh, feminist critics, Madam Premier, who want to see more women in your government. Well, just as long as Patricia remembers who wears the trousers round here, Tim. Political commentators are suggesting that uh, the real cost of the public sector strike could well be the end of the tripartite alliance. Is the alliance seriously compromised, Mr. Vavi? We are not techies who are voting for Christmas, Tim. These vultures and hyenas in the ANC are no friends of the workers. Mr. President, we have heard, Mr. Vavi. Any response? I am very happy with these farmers, Tim. I beg your pardon, Mr. President. We in the ANC are now very much more popular than ever before. But Mr. President, uh, the unions plan to boo and heckle you at the party's forthcoming general council. We are cementing ties with the Chinese, Tim. Huh? It is not a brain freeze, Tim. It is still frozen stuck. Is that Comrade Vavi? Our great partner? Our brother? How? Oh, I know how much you earn, Mr. President. The Zimbabwean government has been accused of jamming outside broadcasts into the country from London. Shortwave Radio Africa say their service is drowned out by a heavy noise, rather like a slow playing record. Zimbabwe is a very model of an African independent society. <coughs> It's that chicken again. Uh, Your Excellency, what did chicken? Get that blasted British fowl out of here. The economy is slowly returning to its former glory. <coughs> Why are we doing this? Because here we can. From me, Tim, and the team is Hamburger. Goodbye and Fusek. <laughs>